Sorry, my camera had cut out on the last re. They may want, but this family may want to be practical now about how they move forward with the situation because they're the ones going through loss. They're the ones that are way down. This Empress energy is not way down. It's that someone knows. I'm telling you. They may want to be practical about causing blockages in someone's life because it's not working. There is this King of Pentacles has clarity. So this could be your Emperor, that King of Wands that's showing up in all of his different energies, right? So he's now, he, he now has clarity about how this whole family has been trying to weigh you down, cause you blockages, prevent him from being able to give to you or work with you. Uh, and he knows that you, <laughs> yeah, this is you. Okay. So he knows now he knows. The thing about some masculines, as successful as they can be in life, everybody needs some type of help, help with their mental. Everybody needs some type of help with their mental. I don't care how rich or successful they are in life. But what makes it worse is that you, when you have people around you that are specifically there to keep you stuck in your mental and to keep you binded to some type of unhealthy uh, activity behavior because these are people that will encourage this masculine to be reckless with his body not encourage him to see the truth about himself not encourage him to see his true his self-worth right so then he's out here year after year seeking validation from outside forces that don't even have it for themselves you got to know that people are not worth your time when they are trying to encourage you to stay in some type of toxic relationship or environment they don't want you thriving in life right they're trying to hide the truth from you but here it is right every time you try to take some type of action to step into the light sail into the sunset they tell a new lie okay they tell a new lie to keep you stuck in this mindset but he's letting that go well hopefully he's letting that go these people are coming up with a new plan the last plan they had, they didn't work. And now they're coming up with a new one to end someone, to block a message, to interfere with someone's confidence. It's not going to work. This is the new plan. Okay. They're heartbroken because someone still wants to communicate with you. There's another ritual they're planning. Another ritual. This is all they do. Come together, come up with rituals and end up all disappointed. <laughs> They're about to end up disappointed again. Someone could have lost a job or they're about to lose a job as well. I'm telling you, this empress is moving forward. This empress is moving forward. These people are heartbroken because you will be receiving communication from someone. Uh, the good news. All right. They may be giving to you and that's going to help you move forward in life or something like that. But don't sit around waiting for handouts from anyone. If they want to, they will. If they don't want to, they won't. Someone may want to meet with you. This is a, a meeting that's divinely meant to be. Okay. They may have tried to get someone to marry some reckless woman out here and it's not going accordingly. Like they were, I don't know if like there was, I don't know if there's like a wedding plan or something like that. I don't know what this is. But they were trying to get him to partner up with a false energy. Someone that's nothing but darkness walking about the face of the earth. Toxic as can be. This could be the woman that's watching you now and copying you. And he's putting an end to that chapter and wanting to invest in something different. Okay? Wanting to invest in something different. These people are desperate out here. Like they're doing any and everything now. This could be like a false queen of cups he's leaving out because she's very manipulative. Someone has been copying another woman and then saying that woman has been copying her the whole time. She doesn't even know anything about spirituality or anything about anything. Someone is nothing but a common thief. So she may want to come towards you now to give you some type of offer and she's going to be doing nothing but lying. Okay. You don't want to offer from this woman. Someone is going through financial loss. Like she's stuck. If this masculine doesn't give her an offer, her future is over. That's how she's seeing it. Oh yeah. Her future is over. Cause this, this was her bag. This King of Wands was her bag. That's how she secured the bag. And this is why she's been competing with you for your destiny. Not that the King of Wands is your destiny, but the, the purpose that you two have together. 
This is what she's competing for. And little does she know, that's not how it works. Just because you're with a masculine, it can be even a man that's in competition with you. Just because you're in a relationship with a masculine, just because you're in a relationship with a feminine, does not mean you're going to fulfill someone else's destiny. It means that person is going to go fulfill it with someone else or by themselves. That's what that means. So just because you get out here and pretend to be a queen of wands, does not mean you're going to get the queen of wands uh, destiny. Because you pretend to be a queen of, uh, uh, I mean, of empress, does not mean you're going to get that empress's destiny. So you, she can marry this queen of wands. I mean, this king of wands, excuse me. She can marry this king of wands. That does not mean, <laughs> that does not mean that she's going to get this person's destiny. She's not part of a specific lineage. So this is delusional to be competing with someone for their own work. You're competing with someone for their own destiny, their own contract. Make it make sense. And the whole time you're going through endings. She said, I've got a bright idea. I'll go in and give her a friendship and be friends. That girl, that girl, that woman, they don't want nothing to do with you. They see you coming a mile away before you even take the first step because someone is a master. They'll put her into your nonsense before you even say hello. You say hello, she said goodbye. You are under judgment. Your whole family, the whole community, every last one of you. You're under judgment. You may want to go through some type of self-actualization, but your brain cells probably don't even function that way. Because you're under some type of delusion that you're going to come and take someone out. The whole time you're living in fear. Oh my gosh, is he going to give her the offer? When is he going to give her the offer? And you're going through towers because this man is still choosing to cut his losses. And move away. <laughs> this is her energy. Whether he's around or not around. I'm telling you. True empresses don't care who comes to give them offers. True empresses don't care who wants to work with them. They don't care who rejects them. It's a blessing when you reject them. As a matter of fact, they're looking forward to it. The moment you say no. Oh, thank you. But there's a delusional community out here, family out here that thinks that because they rejected an uh, 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 empress, that the empress is out here losing sleep. No, 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 no. That empress is good. Good. Secure within themselves. Focus on their dream. Still loving themselves. Still feel of love. And they're in the clear. Sharp as always. And taking all the right actions to stand their ground and protect themselves. And they have knowledge of everything that you are playing. You don't realize. This is that when the enemy knows your move before you make your move. This is what that is. And this is why when you see them, they're calm as can be. But you're confused over the place. Trying to figure out why, why are they still happy? Why is she still in a loving energy? Baby girl. Because <laughs> someone knows. You ain't full of nothing but nonsense. You got nothing to offer. You're playing with yourself. And that's the tower you guys keep missing. That's why it's hitting you back to back. Someone knows everything you're planning. Before you plan it. Before you take action. At this point you all are like an open book. You ever taken an open book test? Like you, you, you should have no reason to fail that test. That's one of the situations. Someone knows every move you make before you take action. So they know what route to take before you all even decide. And this is why you're burdened because you don't understand that. You don't understand why is nothing working. That's because someone and their ancestors are 10 steps ahead of you. 10 steps ahead of you. You're out here talking about charge. Charge. Charge where? To your ending? Charge to your endings? Because you guys have done nothing but invested in your own endings. Endings for yourself, your families, your lineages, curses, and everything. 
nothing but curses. You accumulated nothing but curses, fear and anxiety and blocked your new beginnings because you're being kept far, far away from those new beginnings. But guess what? You're living in fear about an empress energy or a high priestess receiving an offer. And guess what, darling? Surprise, surprise. They're still going to receive it and they're going to be abundant as heck, possibly even getting married. This is when they say checkmate. 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 Okay? And they didn't have to be malicious. They didn't have to be vindictive. They didn't have to lie. They didn't got to deceive no one. All they did was what? Stand their ground. He said, I'm going to protect what's mine. And them ancestors say, we are with you. Some of you practice magic, but you don't understand what you're practicing. You practice spirituality, but you don't understand what you're practicing, right? Clouded judgment. You don't understand what you're practicing. You just assume we've been doing this for 40 years. We've been doing this for 60 years. They don't stand a chance. But someone came in this energy and you underestimated their energy because of this here. And then you got met with this. You don't even know what the heck is beneath. Someone is calm on the outside, but on the inside, this is a whole lion you're tempering with. You're tempering, you're tempering with a whole lion. And you think you're, you think you're patting a, a little kitty cat and the whole time it's a lion. You don't realize that lion <laughs> is just studying you to know when to strike. I've always said a sleeping lion, a quiet lion is still a lion. They just know when to strike. Is that, you know what? <sighs> I may be resting right now, lay under the sheds and stuff. But when I'm ready for you, you better be you better be ready. Don't be in this energy now. Don't be in fear now. A quiet lion is still a lion. A sleeping lion is still a lion. As a matter of fact, when they're quiet and sleepy, sleeping, that's when you should definitely know. Don't touch them. Don't bother them. Because that lion said, I was in slumber. Why are you disturbing my sleep? You don't piss that lion off. I'm telling you, I was in slumber. Why are you disturbing my sleep? You don't piss that lion off. And you're still out here thinking you're petting a little kitty cat. You're a little domesticated cat. That's a guy in the, the domesticated. It don't even want to come out. That lion don't want to be associated with domestication. That lion is wide. I'm telling you, wide awake. Wide awake. Wide awake. Just waiting for you so they can pounce. Say, so, oh, okay. So I was sleeping. You decided to what? Come and have fun? You thought because I was sleeping, I was what? Shut down or something? No, 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 no. This whole family here, you're going to have to move on. Be practical because the truth is out about everything. How far you all went, someone sees you all as nothing but insecure. Someone knows that there's some type of repercussion he's going through because of the actions he took against someone, a feminine energy. He's accepting his reality. But the difference between you all and this masculine is that he's choosing to fix something. Mend what he broke. But you all are still stuck on stupid. Someone is understanding who someone is in his life. So now he wants to balance something out and work something out in order to put an end to this chapter. With you all, okay? This man no longer wants to invest into things and then get no return. That's why he's leaving this institution to fix something, to balance something out. He may be a little afraid because he feels like if he comes in and makes an offer to someone, they're not going to reciprocate it and then he's going to have to go back. No, 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 no. This is a lie. There's a woman around you telling you a lie, blackmailing you. Whoever you're going towards is your match. You two are equally innovative. The problem with you, sir, is that you don't self-actualize. Your heart space is shut down. Your heart chakra is not activated when it comes to the people around you. But for some reason, the, the woman you're trying to go towards activated something in you. And they make you feel good about yourself. You, you see them as a queen of swords, but you know that you now know they don't have any ill intent for you. Someone is just a queen of swords. When, when, they, when they pick up on your nonsense, that's all they are to you. They got nothing else to give you. 
Okay? They got nothing else to give you. Okay? Okay, so let me pull two more cards and see what the heck is out here. Out here playing with a whole wild lion and they think they're playing with a domesticated cat. Dumb, dumb. I'm telling you. Okay? <laughs> every lie, every block, everything is exposed. There's a king of pentacles that trapped himself with these people. Because he made some type of agreement that he didn't understand what he was getting into. It blocked some type of new beginning for him. Someone wanted to have a family and things like that. But he partnered up with this ridiculous group. These delusional people. And now his pathway is blocked. Okay. They did nothing but cause illusions. We stopped him from giving some type of offer to someone. He didn't know that that offer would have led to a lot of growth for him. So he could be going through some type of ending because he's stuck in some type of union, some type of collaboration, community, dark contract, so his soul to the devil, something like that. Okay? Everybody's going to have to move on. Learn to self-actualize. He invested in the wrong thing. Someone invested in the wrong thing and now he's stuck in his mind. How did I end up here? Sir, that's the question we have for you. We believe you know the answer. After this reading, you know the answer. How did you end up here? What did you do? This is when you got to be true with yourself. What did you do to end up where you are? You agreed to end someone's forward movements, end someone's resources, alliances, someone's offers. That's how you end up there. That's how you end up there. And you're trapped, unhappy. You had a whole contract with an a empress energy. Someone that's just as practical and business savvy as you. Business focus is what I'm hearing. And you went and accepted some type of lie. A group of people deceived you. Now you're out here telling lies yourself. I don't think you were like that before. But now you're trying to carry on some type of narrative because you're embarrassed. So you, you're out here telling some type of lie. Lying to yourself because you're trapped. You're lying to yourself, sir. You're lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Accept the truth for what it is. You invested in something horrendous. And everything you are invested in, I'm telling you, is leading to nothing but endings. Just like you temper with someone's investments and their resources and offers and everything, their money, everything you are investing in, this is it. Not going to return nothing. No return on investments for you all as well. Ancestors are out here matching the energy, matching the vibe. What you put out is what you get out, what, what is what you get back. Is that return to sender? All evil plans, all negative energies and intent are return to sender. That will be you all immediately and permanently. This stuff is so redundant by this point. You're out here pl plotting someone's ending because you don't want two people to come together. You don't want someone to uh, be successful in life. You don't want this. You don't want that for someone. Who the heck are you to decide someone's destiny? Lower your mother effing tone. That's what the ancestors are trying to tell you. Because you don't know your place. How are you going to be out here on heel trying to block people that are actually doing the work? Um, ancestor said, lower your mother effing tune. Okay. We got the number four. Okay. Completion, protection. Okay. So something is done, collective. Whoever you are that these people were coming after, Empress, High Priestess, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, Energy, Honey, you're everything. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, everything. No wonder they're coming after you. You are too much of a threat to these people. Too much, okay? Your victory is insured. Your victory is protected. Your Ace of Pentacles offer, it is protected. Your birthright contract, everything is protected. So whoever this is that's out here copying you to be you, honey, let them keep copying. There's a Queen of Wands possibly trying to be you, and they can't even get the formula right. They can't even get the formula right. You, you say A, B, they say, what is A, B, B? You, did you say B, A? Did you say, what did you say? You said eight? 
Common sense don't have it. Quiet moment. It says, seek solace in the silence where clarity finds its true voice. Hear what's unsaid. Okay? I think that's for you, King of Wands, Emperor Energy, whoever you are. You need to go and self-actualize. Tune these karmics out. You used to be one of them. You need to tune them out. Get away from these people and go self-actualize somewhere in a closet, in your home, in the wilderness. Get away from them and self-actualize because your destiny, your future, honey, it ain't looking too spiffy if you stay around these people. They know you have a very bright future and this is why they're trying to block it. They don't want to see you happy, fulfilled, healthy, heal, anything. They want you to stay karmic. That should let you know the kind of people you are around and how they really care about you. My finger don't even want to come out. You saw that stiffness? It said, no, 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 no. They, they really don't care. They don't care at all. That should let you know how, they care, how much they care about you, that they want you to stay. They want you to stay in this toxicity. Lying to yourself. Trapped. Unhappy. Because what I get from you, you are way down. And I don't get like a young energy. I think you're someone that in, either in your 40s or 50s or something like that. And you are way down. Or it could be in your late 30s. You are way down as heck. You, you've, done every, you've done it all. You're a bit of a wild card. You've done it all. Especially when it comes to partners. You ain't never been told no before, right? Ah. <laughs> you ain't never been told no before. So you may have met a woman that told you no. Maybe she didn't know she told you no because that's how those queen of swords be. They just be, uh-uh. Like they tell you something. <laughs> and you just know they don't got time for your foolishness. So someone maybe unintentionally told you no. Because of just the way they are and you took offense to it. So you may have gotten out there or got all wild up and started doing all kinds of nonsense in regards to this person. Trying to defeat them, destroy them, block their forward movement. Like if I can't have you, no one can have you because you find that person to be very beautiful. Baby, that ain't how it works. Okay, this is why you're in the predicament you're in. Feeling bonded and hostage to your lifestyle and the people you are around. You're going to be told no in certain times, at certain, certain times. Everybody's been told no before, sir. At certain times in your life, specific situations, people will tell you no. That's for your growth, okay? Maybe that woman told you no because she knew what you were about, what your true intentions were for her. I, saw, I just saw 40, uh, 2247 on the clock. Maybe she told you no because she saw right through you. Maybe she knew you weren't ready for her yet. You, did you think about that? You got to self-actualize. There's a reason why she said no. And I don't hear that she just came out and said no. I think someone said something really crafty, some, something really intellectual to you, or some, something like very like a smart mouth kind of comment, and it pissed you off. Is that you, you may have even cursed this woman out in your head. Probably call her a B. Probably like you. You call this woman a B in your head because of something she said to you. I can't. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> I can't. We got the fan. Okay, you have good news coming in collective. Um, and again, sir, uh, I mean, good health. Like, your health is recovering. I think this more so has to do with, like, your mental health collective. Like, there's something where people have been attacking you for a while. Now they're not able to do that because nothing they do is working and you're recovering your mental or something like that. Um, but sir, you maybe want to be wary of the friends you have around you because the, the fan can have to do with dishonest friends, okay, families and things like that and people like that around you misleading you, all right, down the wrong path. So you need to be wary of the friends around you because they're lying to you about something. They're being dishonest with you. They're keeping secrets and things like that. So yeah. We have, uh, oh, okay, this one just goes perfectly in alignment with it. It's a cutting edge. Slice through obstacles and carve a path towards your dreams. Clear the way, okay? So maybe you getting rid of these toxic people or whatever habits because you're showing up as someone that's very toxic. 
We don't want to put your business out there. I mean, it's too late, but you're showing up as someone very toxic. So you, you need to go through some type of self-actualization process, self-analysis, and start letting go of what no longer serves you, people that no longer serves you, so that you can heal and then invest in the right things. Once you do that, you'll know what to invest in, the people that are worth your time. I don't know what this is. It has to do with your self-worth. You don't know your self-worth. And this is why you just lay with anyone. You settle for anyone. The first woman that says, I love you, you go with her because you think she actually does. And you just come to, you come to find out she's not there for nothing but your money. Okay? And because she's beautiful, you tend to hold on to them. I don't know if you collect pretty things pretty women you like you like good things it's what i'm hearing you like good clothes good cars food pretty women just very superficial and this empress energy is the complete opposite of you and that is why you two i don't know you took something she said the wrong way but honey i can't tell you listen most empresses are like that they don't even say things out of spite. They just say what they got to say, and it is what it is. You're going to take it how you want to take it, but it is what it is, okay? Anyways, thank you all for watching the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I will see you in my next read, or you'll see my pretty little hands flaring everywhere on this screen. Anyways, thanks for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.